Hi guys, this is Ganesh Naik. I hope everybody is doing good. And I'm back with my interview with one of my students, okay, where he's going to be sharing his experience, his journey of preparing for the exam. So we're going to be talking today to Akshay. He's been able to clear FRM level two in May, 2022 in his first attempt itself. And we are going to be talking about his journey, his challenges, and how he, what was his approach towards the curriculum? Because level two is vast. So how did he started doing it? And what are the, how he was able to clear the exam? Again, the purpose of these interviews that I'm doing is to help students who are preparing on their own or probably they might not have a proper guidance. They can look at those, these interviews and try to understand how other people are clearing and how they can also clear their exam in this entire attempt. So with this, we'll start with the discussion. So Akshay, welcome back to the show. So second time you're back on this show and you're sharing your experience. And then thank you very much for taking out time. Uh, first of all, just for the benefit of the audience, just give a quick introduction about you in terms of uh, where, what has been your work experience, if any, primarily, and uh, when did you clear the exam and when did you start your FRM exam? So uh, thanks, uh, sir, for having me again. And uh, like I told you, sir, uh, in my first interview, I uh, cleared my uh, graduation in, back in 2015. And after that, I was preparing for government exams, which I was not inclined towards. So I, last year uh, in November 21, I decided to go for FRM. I took mm -hmm. your guidance. And then uh, immediately after clearing level one, I appeared for level two and by God grace and little bit of, uh, you know, sir, motivation, I was motivated to clear. so. Yes, sir. I cleared my level two in one go. So now when you got the results in the January for the November 2021, uh, right, did you thought that this is a very less time to go for May 2022? Actually, yes, sir. I I was uh, decided to, I was decided like to defer the exams, but uh, like my parents told me that give it a try and let's see what happens. Uh, uh, and also okay. I'm not working, so I I could have like I have given extra hours than other persons who right. are working. So uh, okay. that is advantage for me, sir. Okay. And how many how many hours you were preparing from January mid onwards? The result came in. Sir, initially I started uh, watching lectures and mm -hmm. then just going through schwezers. So initially I was giving like four to five hours. And after okay. that, uh, uh, towards the end of, uh, like, uh, May, towards the end of April, I have given like 10 hours daily. Okay. So, okay. so you increase the number of hours because it was very close to the exam, primarily almost one month to the exam. Now, sir, which it, book you... It, spoke, it yeah, was it needed, said. actually. <laughs> it was needed. Because, <laughs> okay. So... We will come to that. We'll come to that. How, how much prepared you were at the end of April also. But when you started, which book you started with? So I started with investment book as it was something related to level one. So uh, it gave me a little bit confidence with the syllabus. And mm -hmm. uh, th then I came to market risk. Mm -hmm. And in... Uh, and operations I was doing like one or half chapter daily and right. current and current book I did in the end because uh, I wanted uh, like I talked to some students before who cleared the exam and they told me that this is a scoring subject so you should focus on this one so I wanted to uh, remember as much as, as I can for current so I uh, started it in like Mid April, then I okay the current uh, issues. Cur but yes, after current. investment, you went to market and then yes sir, sir then uh, liquidity. Okay and then credit. Yes sir then uh, credit and I operation. operations I was doing side by side like side by because side. Okay. operations it is a very vast book operations so I was like let's do it bit by bit. Okay, okay. And you were also solving the question bank uh, with uh, while watching the video or did you do it less? Actually, I got very less time to solve the question bank as I was like 
really uh, scared of the syllabus because it's really vast uh, compared to level one and most of the syllabus is theory and uh, mm. personally i feel level one syllabus is very interesting compared to level two as <laughs> you have to go through lot of theory and there's no solving questions are there so sometimes you get like how will i remember this much of syllabus so that's mm. why i was scared to uh, like i was if whether i will able to uh, complete syllabus on time or not so i was going through okay. videos so basically i was uh, focusing on clearing my concepts rather than solving questions much mm. i was just going through schwazer questions but okay. i would personally not recommend this to students i would mm -hmm. recommend them to uh, solve questions side by side if they have time but okay. uh, i had another approach i watched video lectures around three times okay okay and so you basically I, got I, good I, good understanding of it primarily when you were yes, sir, watching because, yeah because no matter uh, how much questions you solve at the end if your concepts are clear then only you are uh, going to clear the exams i okay. saw this in from level 1 and level 2 also that your okay. conceptual should be clear so but did you so did you get time to solve any any question man chapter wise or nothing no sir uh, no sir i solved few uh, like uh, i solved uh, numerical questions especially for uh, market risk credit risk and some chapters of liquidity i think few hmm. few topics they have numericals so okay those topics i focused and theory regarding theory i haven't done a single question for theory questions okay so primarily when you were watching the so you watched the video first time okay yes sir you completed then you did the revision by watching the video again yes sir i watched the video again uh, then i was like uh, not sure if i understand the topic uh, properly then i watched again so before exam i watched videos around three times and okay. i also uh, read the schweizer books two or three times at okay. least two times uh, properly i read the schweizer books okay interesting interesting and so and mock papers also you were not able to solve before the exam or no, no i haven't solved a single mock sir okay and during this entire period which book you felt was slightly tricky for you out of the six books sir sir uh, i think uh, i would say operations is very lengthy book so i was scared of operations because <laughs> you can't remember that much of data which like uh, at a point you feel like this is not even relevant to frm what are they uh, teaching <laughs> <laughs> okay okay got it got it so that, that so, that was the primary issue that was the primary issue and uh, yes, sir. then which book like is you said investment management you were able to you comfort, comfortably we were able to pick up because it was something related to level 1 yes sir now uh, okay so when you went for the exam okay what right, what happened in that exam how many theory how many questions were you able to solve it properly time was a constraint kya hua sir uh, time was not a constraint in level 2 because mm -hmm. questions are uh, 80 questions they ask so time was not a con constraint this time for me but uh, the questions are lengthy no doubt questions are lengthy mm -hmm. uh, and i got around 20 questions for solving questions numericals okay. and around uh, roughly 60 questions for theory Theory. Okay, and those twenty were easy. The calculations were easy, straightforward from the book, or slightly tough. Uh, some are uh, simple questions, uh, like okay. straightforward uh, plug and play, and mm -hmm. some are a little bit tricky, which you will feel like, uh, what is the context of this this question? And you will like, if you have very okay. clear understanding, you can able to pick them. But I would not uh, able to solve some questions. Because okay. uh, for me, the, I was not sure about those questions. Okay, and theory. What was the uh, what is your analysis of theory? Theory questions are uh, very uh, tricky, sir. No, like 
not a single question you will think like uh, one answer is correct at least two option you will be confused so okay uh, but there is slightly uh, like out of two options one option has slight uh, hint that this is correct answer right so you have to you have to focus on those words okay okay perfect perfect and uh, when when the result came in what are the quartiles that you have got sir i got uh, first quartile in marketing uh, first quartile in uh, current affairs and investment i got third quartile uh, liquidity i got third quartile and mm -hmm. rest is uh, operations operations i got third quartile and uh, Unfortunately, I got fourth quartile in credit risk. So it was one, four, three, 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 and one. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Okay. So I mean, this is a very unique score because you you are yes, you are consistent. You are consistently just slightly above in the three books, and that too specially operations, yes, and not yes, very good in credit because market credit and operations these three are very important books. Main. so right sir slightly uh, there was good uh, good luck also in your favor yes sir uh, definitely definitely i would say that i got uh, lucky that i was able to clear these exams but seriously i don't understand what is their passing criteria like mm -hmm. uh, some uh, student might have gotten the same quartiles but they were not able to make it so i really don't understand what is their criteria but right. i would i would say that clear clearing concepts is everything in frm right and now three tips three tips from uh, the the to, from your perspective what what do you think is ideally a uh, student should do to clear the exam uh, firstly sir i would say that uh, go through shazers every hmm. word uh, it's like bible for us so go through it properly okay. and and the topic where you have doubts mark it and clear that topic don't leave it for uh, like i will do it later and mm -hmm. because when we uh, like leave it we are mm -hmm. like uh, sometimes we forget it and sometimes uh, we we are when we we are studying we are in the flow we have some right. idea about the topic but right. then when we leave it for like next week or later then we have to go through that topic again and topics are so vast so you have to go th through them again so it's very time consuming process okay so okay. got it clear it that day uh, or in like one or two days clear that doubt okay got it got it and now one thing i mean uh, did you utilize your time properly for the exam since the day you started or you slightly feel that you could have used the time better sir uh, definitely i uh, feel that i could have used the time better okay. because i was not able to solve much questions which was my drawback and that's why i got not, uh, not so good quartiles but luckily i passed and hmm. so i would say that uh, solve questions it is it is necessary but okay uh, time management is must you have to watch your every minute where are you spending your Uh, this are where you are spending this so don't waste time just li like even okay. if you are working you have to like steal the time like study two hours night two hours early in the morning that's you have to do it if you have to pass right right is, if if you if you are focused enough you will clear the exam that's how yes sir every exam is there, structured sir there is no no skipping like hard work in this exam because you have to put in the hours especially in frm level 2 uh, because mm. they only target on concepts i got this from uh, my experience that they only target on concept rather than what they have uh, directly uh, written in schwazers or gap book so mm. that you have to put in the hours perfect perfect so i mean thank you thank you akshay i mean thank you for taking out time and uh, you uh, clearing the exam okay even even though i know we know that you were not able to give uh, you do justice to the content of the exam but your result is passed right so you have cleared the exam and definitely right. uh, this will motivate students to also change their strategy slightly like you said uh, don't wait for the 
entire videos to complete and then solve the question bank. Start solving the question bank from the start. Right, sir. Don't waste yes, your sir. time primarily. Yes, so all definitely. of these things yes, will help the students to uh, prepare their strategy in a better way and help them to clear the exam. And also one thing is very, which is very commendable, like you were not having experience as such, right? The physical, uh, the, the, the corporate experience, but still you were able to clear both the levels together. And uh, so, Akshay, where are you located right now? Sir, I am from uh, Bikaner, Rajasthan. You are right now in Bikaner, right? Yes, sir. So and the reason I asked you this question, because students who are preparing for tier, from tier two town, where there's no guidance okay. available, People do not understand what is FRM. Their family don't yes, understand sir. what is FRM. There is no friend who is doing it. So obviously it is very tough. It is very tough for them to prepare. So right, sir. I am sure there will be so many other students from tier two cities and they will watch your video and they will get motivated because you have cleared both the exams in first attempt, level one and level two without experience, yeah, right, primarily being from tier two. Right. So uh, see, best part you had was time. You yes, had sir. time to prepare, but again, you also had your own challenges that you have not worked right. in any corporate. So you don't connect back to the working environment, investment banking and all of that, but still you were able to clear. So definitely this should help them to get motivated and help them to clear the exam also. So thank you very much Akshay for taking out time and helping us understand your journey and your way of preparation, what, what order of books you followed also for the exam. So thank you very much. Akshay. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for having me.